What's up guys, the only ninja wearing aviators and a superman hat bringing you yet another episode of Combat for Dummies where I teach you different martial arts techniques and tricks that you can do in your backyard. So this time we're going to go over the hypered backspin kick or the jump backspin kick. I've gone over the regular one uh, before in a previous Combat for Dummies channel. If I haven't, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll get right on that. But I'm pretty sure I have. And so if you're interested in seeing that, definitely check out the playlist built just for you guys. But before we can get into this, you know what we got to do. We got to run that intro. Alright, so a hyper technique or a hyper jump backspin kick or any hyper technique just means jumping off of two feet and landing two feet at the same time. There are several ways to do it. There is the more advanced way of just taking off and twisting hard as you can. And there is the more um, less advanced, the more junior way, the beginner-ish way of J-stepping into it. I'm going to show you both, but first I'm going to show you the J-step. All right, so I got you at a higher viewpoint so that you can see my bottom half a little well, for, especially for this J-step part. What we're gonna start off is a good fighting stance. Now our foot is gonna take our, you know, our right foot, our favorite kicking leg foot, is gonna take a J-step. You're gonna draw a J in the dirt. So it's basically drawing a giant J in the dirt. That is what's called your J-step. Your J-step will help you jump and keeping your spindle motion that you grab, that you gain all on the ground. So watch one more time. Our front foot is gonna just take a J step around like that, just like a J, you were writing a letter J. And then you're going to step together. Now that is when you punch off with both legs to do this kick. One more time. J step, step together. You're going to launch off of both legs and then your favorite kicking leg, your right foot in this scenario, is gonna do your back spin and kick and you're going to land both feet on the ground. Something like this. Just like that. Now, the more advanced way to do this is without the J-step, just skipping the J-step entirely. This time you're gonna put your favorite kicking leg, or in this case, your right foot in the back and all you're gonna do is you're going to rotate as soon as you can't rotate anymore you're gonna punch off with both legs throw that kicking leg as high as you can and land on two feet so watch just like that Whew. that is significantly harder so if you're still learning these kicks definitely don't jump into that one go with the J step and move from there Hope you guys like this video. Definitely, if you're following this channel and following this series of videos, keep that J-step locked into your brain because we're gonna do, be, be doing a lot more trick and kicks in the future and, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm gonna be using that J-step a lot for those beginner techniques and some even some more advanced ones. It just requires that J-step. So keep that in mind when you're learning these and going through this series because it will be important. We, I love to build off of things we've already learned and go forward and make it more and more advanced. So as you watch the channel and as you watch this series, you will get better and better provided that you practice and be able to do the more advanced techniques as we go. So with all that said, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Till next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Yeah.